plenty of wonderful things to take photos of as the iStar Transport, the Century E3D, the eyes and ears of the RAF, flown by 8th Squadron out of RAF Waddington, flanking it are two HS-125s from RAF Northolt. The great bulky figure of the C-17 from RAF Bryce Norton, which can carry over 45 metric tons of freight, troops, other transport, and then the vast Voyager, also from Bryce Norton, specially adapted for a military role, troop transport, really, from Afghanistan and elsewhere. And then we have three Typhoons and three Tornado GR4s. And stand by for the Red Arrows. One of the world's premier aerobatic display teams, and that's the reason why. A stream of red, white and blue in the skies above central London and Buckingham Palace, to the Queen's obvious delight. No George, but uh, there we are, we're still awaiting for what uh, would really be his first public appearance in this country since the day after he was born, which is uh, 22nd of July next year. But, no George, but the Troop in the Colour parade, a five fly pass, the balcony appearance and a 41-gun salute being fired in Green Park. That, of course, the normal ingredients of the Queen's birthday parade. She made her way down to um, uh, Troop in the Colour ceremony before returning to Buckingham Palace for the balcony appearance. That's the moment when it had been thought that just possibly William and Kate would bring Prince George out with them, but that was not to be. We don't, in fact, even know whether he was brought to Buckingham Palace at all. But a balcony appearance in which the Queen, of course, surrounded by all the other principal members of her family, her children, uh, grandchildren and uh, nephews and cousins and so on, and they're all now inside having lunch. <laughs> 